What up, everybody? It's your boy, Young Fizz, a.k.a. Mr. Dope Status on Instagram, and welcome back to another tutorial. So today we're going to be focusing on how to make a sound wider inside of the machine. So if you haven't already, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to turn on the bell notifications. So whenever I drop a new video, you will be the first person to be notified. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into today's tutorial, which is making a sound wider in machine. All right, so today I'm going to be working with this guitar loop right here. And so let me go ahead and play it for you guys so you have an idea of what I'm working with. All right, so that's all I'm working with. That's just the four bar loop there. So I'm going to go ahead and make that length of four. And the first thing I want to go ahead and do is going to go ahead and duplicate this. Now, you want to make sure this button is not highlighted. All right, so if it's highlighted, it's gonna play the loop. We don't want it highlighted. We wanna make sure it's off and we wanna copy it. So to copy it, all we have to do is hold down Option. I'm on a Mac here and I'm just gonna drag down. And so that's just gonna make a duplicate right there for us. All right, so the next thing we wanna do, we wanna take these panners and we wanna pan them to the left and the right. So I'm just gonna take this one here and pan it to the left. And then we're gonna pan this one to the right. So we still have the same loop, right? Take the volume down just a little bit here. So the next thing I want to do to make it wider and make it sound more vintage is just take this tune right here. I'm going to hold down shift and I'm just going to pitch it just a little bit to the right. And that's just going to give it a little bit of width and make it sound a little bit more vintage. So I'm just going to put it maybe around 20 should be good here. Let's take a listen. And remember what we started with. Let me go ahead and copy this down here. We started with something that sounds like this right here. And then after. So let's take this a step further. Let's just say, for example, you know what? I, I kind of like this loop, but you know what? I want to make this all into one loop. So let me go ahead and just copy this down here. And I can delete this now because I no longer need this and I no longer need that. And I'm just going to move this right up here, rename it to guitar. And now we have this here. Now I want to use clips to rearrange this type of loop here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my song view, add a clip here. And the next thing I want to do is go ahead and add that loop right back in here. We're going to play it. I think it's like four bars or so. Let's go ahead and play it here. So I'm just gonna make a duplicate copy of that by holding option, dragging that over. And I'm gonna listen one more time. I just don't like this piece in here that goes doo -doo -doo -doo. I don't know what that is. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of that piece right here. So I'm just gonna cut this short here. And I'm just gonna zoom in to make sure I'm, I'm dead on. I'm just gonna cut it short here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drag it in. I'm gonna hold down shift to get a finer tune here and just listen again. All right, so maybe like right there. And then that other note is going to hit at the end. So I'm just going to take this note here. I'm going to drag that in. Zoom, zoom in a little bit. Drag this in just a little bit so I can hit that last note there. I'm going to take that last note and drag it right over here. Get as close as I possibly can. And then it's going to get it maybe hitting like right around here, I believe. Maybe like right around here. A little bit early so maybe about right there and that's going to be the loop right there so let's just say for example i want to create a whole pattern out of it so now what i want to do i don't have my option to click and drag here so what i want to do is just basically record it so i'm going to come over here to sound number two i'm going to set my source to internal 
and it's going to be set to master input and the length i believe is two bars and we're going to go ahead and play it and it's going to be synced together all right so now that's all recorded go ahead and name this to guitar i no longer need this copy here i'm going to move that up there and now we want to go back to this over here. And so pattern one, make sure this is set to audio. So now we have a seamless loop here, four bars, actually two bars. So now I can rename the pattern to, you guessed it, guitar. And now we have a seamless loop right here inside a machine in seconds. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It's your boy Young Fizz, aka Mr. Dope Status on Instagram. If you found this video to be valuable, make sure you hit that like button and we will see you on the next video. Thank you for watching. We out.